So you want to put a jib, a slider, a stabilizer, and a tripod onto a carry-on bag. In part one, we're going to start with covering the base of the system, which is the monopod. This monopod is the P204S from Sue Ray. Sue Ray. Thank you for calling Sue Ray USA. Even though it's a monopod, it has three feet on the bottom, which actually surprisingly makes it very stable and very usable in most situations where you need a tripod, especially with smaller cameras. Starting with the build quality, the P204S is excellent. Everything that you want to be metal is made out of metal. Fully extended goes all the way up to 63 inches or about 160 centimeters. Now, as far as extras that come with the camera, it comes with three Allens, which is good for tightening little screws here. Uh, I haven't had them come loose on me yet, but you know, it's nice to have that. You know, it's nice that they give you the tools for that. They give you the extra head on there, so you can still use this as a monopod while you're using the base. You get two sets of rubber feet, so if you want rubber feet on the bottom section and the top section, you got them. And then you got this spike here. Um, for a monopod, I don't know why you need a spike. Maybe somebody could uh, fill me in on why you would want a spike on a monopod. Because on wood, rubber's good. On concrete, rubber's good. In the grass, rubber's good, because it's a monopod. I don't know. Now, obviously, the benefit of having this over a straight monopod is having three feet. And you'll see the other ones from Manfrotto. I mean, they're real popular. But this has much larger feet, and it's much better built. It is so well built that it'll actually support your weight. I'm not very good at balancing, but I mean, this thing will take a lot. I mean, a lot of weight. The one caveat is that you have the at least a foot on the bottom there. Otherwise, you'll start to stress the legs a little bit. The other thing I like about it on the, the screw that it has, it has a quarter 20 screw. And in very short order, you turn it around and you're set up with a 3 8 screw. And you don't have to worry about having little bushings or threaded adapters to go from one size to the other. Even if the pan on the tripod head is locked off, you can unscrew this section here, this blue collar, and you could actually pan with just this section here. And it, it's very smooth. And lock it off. And it's nice and tight. The other part that makes it super useful to me is if you unlock the next blue ring down, it comes off. And you can put a rubber mount, or if you prefer the spike mount on it, and you've got a monopod with no feet. But because they give you the extra base mounting plate there, you have yourself a little hi-hat and a monopod, and they're both functional. Now it's all metal construction, and you know that's not good as far as weight goes, but what I can say about this thing is even whenever it's fully extended, it's really strong. It has very, very little flex. You gotta really strain to, to get that to bow. So it's nice and sturdy, all the way rised up, just like that, and without the base on it. You have 57 inches, or about 140 centimeters, 145 centimeters of height on it. And this by itself is super useful. Forgot your boom pole for your mic? It's a boom pole. Feeling tired? It's a walking stick. Get caught between a bear and her cub, it's a weapon! Now this is one of the things that kind of drove me to select this particular monopod, was that because of the feet here, whenever you extend the feet down, it makes an excellent base just for setting your gimbal down. So that pretty much covers what I like about this monopod and why I chose this monopod. Uh, on the next video in the series, we're going to be covering the tripod head, which is the Benro S6. And definitely subscribe if you want to see more of this series. And I uh, hope to see you next time. Bye.